Hello people, welcome to another video of Thunder Hunter Studios. Uh, this time around I want to show you the process of the installation and setup of the interface Tascam US1800. Uh, this awesome interface with 16 inputs and 16 outputs uh, from Tascam. Uh, is the new addition to my studio and I'm really happy with this uh, product and uh, I want to show you the quick and easy uh, setup here also in Cubase which is the program I use for recording so uh, uh, first here is my desktop I'm going to put the, the CD here in my, in my CPU and we're going to begin the installation process so I just put the CD in the CD-ROM slot and okay the first thing it appears this window we click on outer room and in this window you will click on install driver Okay, you choose here the language of your liking, for example English, you install the driver, and here you have to read the license agreement, if you read it or if you don't you have to click and I accept the agreement in order to to follow with the installation so I recommend before clicking on install that you have the the interface ready plug to the to the power and also that you have the USB cable ready because it will ask you to connect the, the USB cable to the computer uh, during the installation process so I have the interface ready. I'm going to click on install here. And it's installing the other drivers. There it says that you plug the USB cable to the computer. Okay, now it's installing the drivers. The interface should be in on, turn on. So, right, let's just wait a little bit. Okay, so here it says that, that the interface was installed correctly, the driver. Um, and then it appears this message to reboot the computer. Just click on reboot now and it will finish the installation. So I'm going to click on reboot and see you in a couple of seconds. Okay. Uh, now my computer has rebooted and okay now my computer it's on again here's my desktop uh, you have to go to to the menu here programs to check if the, the interface was installed correctly so you go to the Tascam folder here and here is the control panel it, it means that it was installed correctly so if you click on it this is the, the main control panel of the, your interface this this one is going to give you control inside your DAW so you have here the option to to change the latency Remember that highest latency gives you more, more CPU power, but uh, if you record with highest latency, it will be a delay uh, from the, the sound that you record and the sound that you hear out of your speakers of your, or of your headphones. So if you want to record, you can choose normal latency, low or lowest latency to record it's going to give you less CPU power 
but you can record in, in real time. And when you are using plugins or mixing or, or anything, you have to choose a higher latency, highest or this one. Okay, so exit this. I'm going to open up Cubase 5 here and let's see how this is being set up in the DAW. Okay, so it's opening Cubase. I'm going to create a new project here. Okay, the, the first thing we're going to do inside Cubase is going to devices here, devices configuration. I have it in Spanish, but uh, in English it's like uh, configuration devices or something like that. So click here, then click here. It's going to take you to this this window. I have here installed ASU for all. That's, that's the interface that I have right now. So I'm going to choose US US 1800, which is the one we have right now. So would you like to switch from ASU controller? So yeah. And here you have the the control control panel we saw before. So we just leave it here at normal latency. Exit. Here you have the the 16 inputs and four outputs for your interface. Okay. And after this, we're going to click F4 on our keyboard and you have several options here uh, in the inputs tab which is this one you're going to to click on add bus and here you are going to choose the number of channels you want to uh, choose from your interface for example I want the 16 channels 16 And if you want mono or stereo, you can choose either one or another. So let's, for example, choose mono. Click on yes or accept. And now the 16 inputs are, are here. When you create, let's say, for example, one track, mono track, you are going to to choose here. Here is a, the output stereo out, which is the main bus here at Cubase. This one and the mono in. You are going to choose one of the sixteen inputs right there. So I'm going to plug the guitar right now to the interface on channel nine which is a uh, instrument channel I'm going to click I'm going to uh, to press here on the interface that button that is right next to the to the input okay I will show you in the this video I I press the button and now I I connected a um, Headphones here on the interface. The mix knob, you're going to put it at the highest, which is computer. And you can pump up the volume of the phones, for example, which is the headphones. So, right there. I don't have any signal here in my dock, but if I click here and monitor, now we have a, a signal. Here on the interface, you can you can adjust uh, the gain. Yeah, so. Remember that it's better if you record a, a 
not much, uh, uh, a lot of gain, you know, to avoid clipping. So if you click on record, there you go. So there you have it. Uh, I hope that this uh, video work for you in some way if you have purchased this interface and I hope that you enjoy it it's a really cool interface I already record some vocals and some instruments with this I'm really happy with it if you have any questions or any doubts uh, leave it in the comments below or send me an inbox and I'll be more than glad to, to help you out uh, remember to subscribe to my channel I'm going to, to be uploading uh, several content uh, about recording, mixing and mastering, several tutorials that I have for you and I'm really uh, excited to share with you. So thank you very much guys for your attention and see you next time, right?